Hello, my name is Thijs. I'm a, I was a sports journalist, I still am, but uh, about a couple of months ago I became the project manager of the building of the construction of an artificial mountain of minimum 1000 and preferably 2000 meters in height. You've already laughed about it, so I can just uh, move on. Uh, this story starts about three months ago. I wrote a column for a big uh, Dutch news site. Um, and then when I was reading it, um, before sending it to, my, uh, to, the, to the news site, I thought, what the hell did I just write? I wrote about the idea of building a mountain in Holland. So it was just uh, thanks to my, to my girlfriend that I actually sent it because I didn't want to do it. The next day, my inbox exploded with reactions. And surprisingly, there were a lot of reactions that were well thought. That a lot of, I noticed that a lot of people already thought about this idea. So I decided uh, a couple of days later to publish two big articles in a uh, newspaper I write for. Just in order to get something going. I said, help. Just simple help. This is the idea. I don't know how to do it. Help me. Um, a few days later, there were 50, 60 companies already that uh, wanted to join, that thought it could be done, that at least they uh, wanted to calculate and think about it. Now we're about, we're as big as, uh, well, 100 companies at minimum. We're thinking, we're calculating, we're drawing. And especially since the moment that two architects of which, uh, well, this, uh, this little movie is, um, presented the idea of building a hollow mountain, things started to grow. And right now, um, I, give you, I give you just a, a few examples of where we are. Um, if you build a hollow mountain, you should see it as a set of blocks. In the, in the lower parts, you can think of data center, of use, uh, use of garbage, but also um, make houses. Uh, use um, LED lights to grow food. And you can use the height for sports and recreation, just for skiing, for cycling, for to build a hydroelectric power plant with a lake at 1,000 meters height that you can use for uh, storage of energy, clean energy. I wrote my first column about sports and recreation, and you can see that the focus during the, couple, during the last months has shifted to bigger problems of society, to the problems of the future, to problems of getting clean energy, to problems of getting enough food for the next generations. So this idea, this initial, initial well, maybe stupid idea of just building a mountain to, well, which you can, what you can use just to cycle up and ski down has now became the biggest innovation platform of the Netherlands and an idea that's probably, maybe, I think yes, doable. We are only, well, we've, we've only been busy for three months right now. There's a timeline. Um, I think next year, around this time, around this time of year, we have a concept that we can bring to investors and to communities. These investors and communities are already really interested. We have already like 15 communities that really, really want this mountain. Uh, we have investors that are anxious to invest in this idea, which first have a real concept for it. Yesterday, we emitted shares. You, me, everybody, you can buy a piece of this mountain. And in first, it's just a certificate that we can use uh, 20, 20,000 of them, uh, 50 euros each, we can use to research this mountain to get this concept done and a couple of weeks ago uh, one of the marketeers of this organization um, spoke to Warren Buffett the big American investor and he said you're nuts and he's right maybe 
he said, you Dutch people, you're nuts. Because you guys, you're building things well, you can think about. And you've been doing that for the last couple of decades, maybe for the last couple of centuries. We've already built polders in the 16th century. And those were things that couldn't be done as well. And Buffett, he ended his story by saying, you're nuts, but you're probably gonna do it anyway. And he's right, we are gonna do this. Thank you.